Well, I'll be meeting with Dean after here and having a chat and possibly with Bob Arum as well. And he's been very gracious and offered us, um, you know, great facilities over there, his own house and everything to train and, and everything. So he's been f phenomenal. Uh, and yes, it is a fight. I have studied Crawford and yes, I know how to beat Crawford. We can beat Crawford. It's, that doesn't mean it's an easy fight. That probably means it's the hardest fight in the world right now. So that's a big, big step. But you know, we're prepared to take those big steps. Obviously, it's got to be risk for reward, and that's something we do need to talk about is, is obviously uh, money uh, and just see if we can get the right numbers for this fight because it is just a massive, massive fight here. And, you know, when you think about it, the guy that's beaten the 11 times world champion versus the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world. So it doesn't really get much bigger than that. So that's what's on the table. How soon could that next fight happen? Obviously, there's a lot more on the plate for the Jeff now. Yeah, there is. We're talking late April in Vegas, around the 21st of April. So Jeff's got an event he wants to be back here for on the 28th. Uh, his sister's getting married, so you know he wants to be back here on the 28th. But the 21st is a date that we could possibly work at. In April, that would give us time to give him a break over Christmas, enjoy the birth of their baby, and then you know avoid the really hot training in January, which is what I'd rather do, and probably really start to move heavily yeah, we'll start training late January and February start to do the heavier work and obviously the really heavy work in March when it's just that little bit cooler and head over there in, in early April. So, when but you're, massive fight. When you're always formulating plans, so is this part of the plan to go up and get someone like Crawford? Well, ideally Crawford, I would have rather to wait another fight or two, ideally, but you know, he's been instilled as the number one mandatory challenger now. You know, they've just brought him straight up from the super lights. Remember, he unified the whole super lightweight division, won every belt there. And they've, of course, brought him straight up to the number one position to displace Mini Pacquiao. So unless Mini Pacquiao says, oh, no, I will, I will do it. <laughs> I'm sure maybe if he did that, uh, Crawford could be offered step aside money to step aside and let the Mini Pacquiao Jeff Horn fight go ahead. That would be the ideal world for me, is to fight Manny Pacquiao again, and we'd be happy to bring him back here and fight him again at Suncorp Stadium. We'd love to do that as the very next fight, but unless Manny shoves his hand up in the next couple of weeks, then you know we're on a collision course with a mandatory challenger who happens to be Terence Crawford. So we are due for a mandatory, so we can't avoid that. And if that's the way it is, then that's the way it is. Can we beat Terence Crawford? Yes. Absolutely, we can beat him. Uh, it's going to require a really good preparation and we, we can't afford to miss a beat. We can't afford an injury like we had for this one two weeks out. You know, eight stitches, we missed two weeks of sparring. Uh, going, we can't afford those sort of little mishaps next time. Not against Crawford. Premier, you're potentially Mundine, potentially Pacquiao. Uh, what do you want to say to the promoters at the moment, bring it back uh, to Brisbane? Well, let me say very clearly, I'm not letting any rematch move to any other state in Australia. So, you know, Queensland is now on the world stage internationally. This was been to millions of people around the world, you know, and what I want to see is those people come here and visit our great state. So, you know, it's my government that's uh, got in there and uh, back Jeff for these uh, rematches. And of course, we'd always be willing to sit down and discuss future options. And, you know, I wish them all the very best uh, in Las Vegas. And like everyone was saying, that is every uh, boxer's dream, every fighter's dream to be there. And, uh, you know, we will back him from Queensland 150%.